hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Ellie and today I have a very exciting video because I will go through all of the garments and best yarn choices that are for the Austrian season it's been a while but I got asked this question and I thought I would just make a whole video out of it because it seemed very interesting and I thought you might want to know about uh, what kind of seasons we have in Austria as well. I am wearing a t-shirt even though it kind of almost looks like I'm naked, I'm very sorry. Uh, I am wearing a really nice springy shirt because it is turning into spring um, very quickly but hopefully also very soon as well because right now it's still fairly cold and the weather has been very moody as well anyways because i am a i am wearing a t-shirt and it's not yet warm enough i am wearing my eva cardigan on top of it this really has just been another staple piece uh, over the last few months if i want to be a bit warmer and just throw something on on top so let's start with winter winter used to be a lot colder nowadays we barely have any snow this year we only had one day where it really snowed a lot and the snow actually stuck to the ground and didn't melt almost immediately so it has changed over the years and they have become very mild in my opinion we average here around zero degrees sometimes we drop uh, below that sometimes we go a little bit higher than that but on average i would say zero degrees is a very good estimate so for that i absolutely love my mohair sweaters Almost all of the sweaters are perfect for this season, but my favourite ones are the Moby sweater uh, by Petite Knit. I use Drops uh, Charisma and a strand of mohair and that just makes it really warm, really cosy. To be honest, for winter, any type of wool would be fine. Like I said, the mohair adds an additional layer of warmth, so that is when I can wear those type of garments. I also really like my recently finished Dawny sweater, which also has mohair in it, or my Kara sweater, both are by uh, Rebecca Klo. I also really like that one, the Kara sweater. I used uh, Ferna Bolle which is an Austrian yarn producer. I used some lamb's wool in it and that also is a really nice thick and warm fabric. If I um, compare it to other types of yarns that I used, uh, I made the Ali's uh, sweater by S-Knit. Uh, I can't just quite remember who the designer is, but for this one I used superwash wool and that is also absolutely fine. I have no issues with it. Uh, most of the times the rooms that I'm in are heated, at least a little bit, but any type of uh, woolly yarn is great for this season. Let's get into spring. So we are currently in spring or just on the verge of getting into spring and it is still very much cold outside. Today when I left this morning it was around 3 degrees but it's going to get up to 14 or 15 degrees today. So the temperature is, there's a really big difference in between uh, the morning and the midday. So you do have to wear some wool and woolly garments, wool coats, etc. to really have that heat that you need in the morning but then you can also take it off when it gets too warm during lunchtime. Here I made the Maya sweater, uh, it used to be a cardigan but I hacked uh, the pattern. It is by Helene Magnusson, one of my absolute favourite sweaters. For this one I used two strands of um, woolly knit, 100% British wool. It is a fingering weight yarn and it is very very rustic. It is rather scratchy but for me it created the perfect uh, fabric for this season because it's not as dense and as thick and fluffy as a mohair sweater and gives enough um, 
air through the sweater essentially um, to not be too warm but also keeps the heat in when you need it. Spring you really want like vibrant colors because you're coming out of winter but because I'm not super vibrant uh, color wise I like more muted colors more I would say traditional colors um, I have the Kuta top here by Sari Nordland. It is also another one of my favorite uh, things that I made. It has a lace yoke and it has short sleeves. For this one, I used a superwash yarn, which is also fine. And uh, this one was by Peak District Yarns. That's the company. Um, Pig District Yarns, her DK uh, Merino Superwash wool and the garment is absolutely perfect for this because it just gives you enough warmth on the body uh, without it being too warm or too cold because at lunchtime when it does get warm you want your skin to absorb all of the sunlight the nice warmth um, but in the morning you want something a little bit thicker on top like a sweater so here superwash is completely fine i also have to say my knitted woolly t-shirt or t-shirts that have wool content in it this really is the best season uh, to wear them because in summer it's too hot and in winter most of the times it's going to be a little bit too cold so here it's perfect now on to summer Now, I know this can differ for some people, but to me, Austria in summer is an absolute hellhole. We average with temp the temperature around 35 degrees. Sometimes they are higher for a really long period of time. And when I say long period of time, of course, I don't mean months, but I do mean multiple days, one after another. And that really takes a toll on your body because the heat is just so stuffy and so much pressure that you feel on your body through the building, through the floor, because everything heats up so much. Once it gets under 30 degrees, that is kind of a really nice sweet spot, but it goes from really high temperatures, or what should I say, from low temperatures to really high temperatures in a matter of days. So summer, you need something light. You need all of the cotton yarns. You cannot have any wool in it, at least for me, because you are going to sweat through this garment so much. Here I have my Lotus Petal Top by Hyris Makes. This is my all-time favorite summer shirt. I made this the first summer when I started knitting and still to this day I reach for it almost daily in summer. If you want uh, to have this pattern as well, I do have a discount code. You can get 10% off with the code MAVELLI10 and go and check out her other um, summer tops as well if you're interested in that i can only highly recommend them yarn wise you really need cotton and i think for the lotus petal top that was really the best choice even though it might not look the best this has not stretched out over time luckily it is a drop shoulder t-shirt but it just gives the perfect amount of airiness that you need you need something a bit oversized nothing close fitting nothing close to the body or clinging to those curves that we all naturally have uh, so something looser really is best for this season i also really like the torso tee by rebecca clo i only made this last year i made it out of the same yarn i but for both of these t-shirts i used um drops saffron which is 100% cotton yarn working with this yarn wasn't fantastic but to be honest for the feel of the garment once you finished it it is absolutely worth it in my opinion the torso tee is a raglan construction and it is a little bit tighter fitting um but to be honest i don't mind it that much you are just going uh to have a little bit more sweat i guess on the garments you might have to wash it a bit more often what i look for in a summer uh, garment is flowiness airiness and a light and um holy 
gauge. You don't want anything that is like fingering, weights, super tiny stitches, um, etc. And you also definitely don't want any wool in the garment. I used to make a few garments, I can't quite remember them on the top of my head, but I made a few garments which had wool content in it with cotton and you just could not wear that in summer. I would get so hot in it, I would just sweat through it and it would make me feel really uncomfortable because it would absorb not only the sweat but also the heat. So for summer you need light stuff, you need cotton and nothing else. <laughs> And then for the last season in autumn, because autumn is a, a summer kind of flows and almost skips autumn in a sense. It goes from summer to tiny bit of autumn to then winter. Um, it is essentially the same as spring. You have really high temperatures generally during the day and then it drops lower and lower with each day. So whereas in spring you start with a low temperature in the morning and it gets to a high temperature uh, during lunchtime or throughout the day in autumn you start with high temperatures already and it only gradually drops each day it also starts to rain more often so you do want those woolly garments back but you also need the airiness again and the lightness I made the Tuku uh, sweater by the Petite Knitter. This one, uh, I've worn this in spring and because I can kind of correlate those two seasons like I just said, this is going to be a fantastic knit and garment for autumn uh, as well because you have a gape here gauge and not a super dense fabric. Here I also have the cardigan which is exactly what I'm wearing right now. Uh, for this I used Drops Charisma by um, or the Eva cardigan by Petite Knit and I used Drops Charisma uh, in this really nice beige colour. This is the perfect throw on uh, when you're a little bit cold or you need an extra layer. The fabric is not super dense. The wind does come come through but also the heat from the sun so that is kind of what you really want in autumn as well to keep the heat in but not be too fluffy and uh, stick into your body and then the last garment I have for autumn is the Haley Slipover by Hyris Makes again you can use the discount code here as well it is my favorite vest I know I haven't made that many vests in the past, but this pattern is just pure perfection. It looks absolutely incredible. It is really simple once you get the hang of it, and you can have so many beautiful colors uh, popping those cables. Did that make any sense? I'm just in love with it. I wear this so many times, especially to work when I need that extra layer. It looks incredible, like you put a lot of effort in it. And I mean, you did, but it actually goes by a lot faster than what you think uh, with such an intricate cabled uh, design. She will bring out a sweater version of uh, this pattern and you can bet on it that I will also make that because I had so much fun making uh, this knit and wearing it just gives you the perfect amount uh, of heat. For the Haley slipover, I used a blend of cotton and wool and really spring and autumn are the only two times where I would uh, use this type of yarn. It gives you not too much heat, but it also isn't completely open and see-through. I'm not too sure if that makes sense to anyone else. I generally don't feel a big difference between a cotton wool blend and a pure wool yarn, uh, but maybe that's just me. So those were all of the seasons and garments and yarn combinations that I would suggest for the Austrian season and also recommend out of my own experience. If you want to come and visit Austria, which I know a lot of you guys do because you have sent me quite a few messages in the past, if you're coming in summer, I would definitely recommend only cotton yarn and 
or linen yarn something lightweight and something a bit oversized and not as clingy to your body because trust me you will be melting right i hope you enjoyed this video i had so much fun uh, thinking about the garments and yarn combinations which would be good and which I would also uh, make things out of again. If you did enjoy this uh, video leave a like, a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to stick around a little bit more. I also have a podcast um, if you want to know what I'm currently working on so go and check that out as well and I'm gonna see you next time. Happy knitting! Bye!